Welcome back to Loving Living Local. It's where you want to be. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, if you missed it earlier, okay, <laughs> Chief Meteorologist, yes. our weather mammoth, yes. is out there, Matt Meister, at Pueblo County High School. For their career day, he is molding the minds of today's <laughs> youths. Youths. <laughs> Right, youths. the youths. The youths. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, Matt, good morning to you once again. Welcome back to the show here, Loving Living Local. It's where you want to be. Yeah, thank you. Are, you. are you changing <laughs> lives, Matt? That's the question. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm probably uh, sending some off on the wrong path, guys. I know, okay. you know, probably sharing the, the uh, what happens after the newscast <laughs> stories. Well, it is what it is, right? But we're sharing the true broadcast experience. We're actually, guys, between classes right now in oh. passing period, so I don't have any kids. So I thought I would actually take the opportunity to show you their studio here at Pueblo County High School. So they have a cool little on-air light, and I'm going to take you into the studio right now. Check this out. They've got a chroma key wall, the green screen, as we like to call it. So this is what my weather wall at the station looks like. And we can, you know, put whatever sort of graphics, could be weather graphics, could be video. I'm sure the kids do some sort of fun things with that. But check out these little cameras that they have. And man, I tell you what, broadcast type equipment has gotten so much more affordable. But they've got their cameras back here. They've got a, a little what would be a teleprompter. So these are the scripts that uh, Craig, Abby, D read from. They probably put a little iPad or a tablet here. And then it bounces off this piece of glass where the camera lens would be back behind here. And then someone that would be out here in the studio could then look right into the lens of the camera as they're reading the scripts. So when you're sitting at home, it looks like they're just talking to you, although they're reading. And if you watch their eyeballs really close every now and then, you can see their eyes kind of darting back and forth. So they, they really have a full, they got their production uh, studio back here. And I'm here with Dean, who is, Dean's been filming Sarah and I talking to the kids. So Dean, uh, you're a sophomore, you told me earlier. What is the coolest thing that you have experienced or learned in the broadcast television journalism program here at Pueblo County? So uh, last year, so on a normal year without all the COVID stuff, uh, we would actually broadcast the football games we have going on here. And last year was the last game of the season. One of our uh, booth commentators didn't show up. I was more used to sideline or uh, sideline reporting. Okay. So I got to go up in the booth just off the hip with a couple notes I'd had written down and just commentated the entire game. And it was a great experience. And you told me earlier that that is actually sports broadcasting is what you want to do for a career. What made you want to get into that? So, so ever since I was little, uh, my grandpa coached football. You know, my family just always been around football. I remember one night watching, I want to say it was the Rose Bowl on ABC, and I just looked at Kirk Herbstreit and said, I want his job, and I've just kind of lived my life like that since. Hey, I want his looks. You can take his job. I'll take his looks, and we'll be good. So every sports broadcaster needs a phrase or a couple phrases that they're sort of known for or they go to during the big sort of moments of a, of a contest. What is yours? Uh, so I think my uh, phrase is, that's the contest. I just no matter what, just whenever you know something's gone really well for one team or really poorly for the other, I say that's the contest. Or uh, whenever there's a run in football and they lose yards right at the line of scrimmage, I like to say stuffed like the Thanksgiving turkey. Stuff like, see, he's got, I knew if we gave him an opportunity, he'd start pulling the good ones out. Well, sir, thank you for being here with us on the air. We appreciate that. Kids are coming into the classroom now. We've got one more to go. We're speaking to three classes today. So thankful to the Hornets for having Fox 21 out here to talk to the future broadcasters. And since the bell just rang, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. I have a classic to pass on to the kids he can use for his uh, next sports broadcast. Yeah. Boom goes go. the dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite. Classic. What? Oh, yes. I'm sure Dean, I am certain that Dean has seen that clip on the air. Boom goes the yeah. dynamite, a classic. Of course, it's he, Mr. Pacheco even knew what we were talking about, and he couldn't even hear what you said. He knew. Oh, All right. Legendary. Hey, Matt, legendary. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, hey, you're welcome. Well, we yeah. are taking.